Okay, so um, we are going today to make the compote, learn to make a compote. So you would make the two parts separate and then stick them together next class, making something dramatic like this, a footed fruit bowl basically. Um, or you could make it a baptismal font or make a little tiny one that would be um, like a goblet. So, so we'll, do, we'll do a goblet and a big one like this because a lot of y'all can throw big like this. So usually when I'm throwing one of these, um, I used to do it two parts to one part, but then my foot was too much and too big. So now I do it three parts to one part, okay? It's like if this is one pound, this would be three pounds, but this one's probably like five-ish or something. So anyway, to do that, to start with like this much clay, can you tell me how much this is? Yes, I can. Four, four and a half. Okay, so this is four and a half. All right. Thank you. All right. So again, to center, straight wrist, then pull behind. Pull from behind. So this is one, y'all have been trimming a foot. Don't leave enough clay to trim a foot. Okay. okay. All right, and again, I'm leaving this thicker than I want a little bit. And it's going to be more vertical than I want. Because I, I want this shape here. I want a really wide, pretty shape. But if I throw that wide, pretty shape in the beginning, what happens? It's going to fall. Off. Yeah. What shape should I make for for a big footed bowl. Wide but not too wide. Wide but not too wide. What's my, what's it gonna be for? Popcorn. Yeah, popcorn for sure. But if it's footed, it's gonna be more decoration, so I like a fruit bowl. What's the advantage of boosting it up a little bit with a foot? Presentation. Yeah, it'll look really elegant. Also, you can kind of fit some other bowls under it maybe. Like it helps if you have multi layers on your table. Um, all right. So like what? Well, I was thinking like if you're doing um, a cheese plate or something and you want it more than one level. Uh-huh. But that would be more like a platter. Yeah, that would, you could make a platter on a pedestal. But it'd be like a cake plate. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be the same way you'd make a cake plate, except that you would be making a plate instead of a bowl, yeah. So anybody who wants to make a cake plate, this is your same process, sort of. Okay. Why is my clay a little bit wobbly? Right, I didn't center it the best. I kind of rushed my centering. It's not bad, it's fine. I'm not gonna um, give up on it. Okay, I, here's something I want you to notice. I could leave it like this, where it is super, um, that squeaky thing. This gets to be the only squeaky wheel right now. Um, so I can just do this, uh, like make the whole thing a parabola on the inside, or we can do a classic move that I like to do, which is give it a frame so that I frame my food and I have a decorative edge and then my food's in the middle. I don't have as much capacity for food when it's I do a that. Bowl. It's a cereal bowl for you. Yeah, a really big cereal bowl. 
for all the cereal, the whole box goes yeah, in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the family, yeah. family yeah. size. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there we are. So there's that. Okay, so that's that's one, done. One. And I don't know what that looks like. This is gonna be the foot. Okay. So this was whatever pounds, but four and a half. Four and a half. So we'll leave we'll park this here for now. That's I know I have another good. batter right yeah. around here somewhere. Anybody see a bat? Thought I got another one. <laughs> Thank you. Thought I had one. Grazie. Oh, this one might be too good. Oh, it's going to be okay. Thank you so much. All right, so now the foot. So if I just did a tall, skinny tube, what's wrong with that picture? It won't hold the pot. Because why? Because it's too not heavy. Um, what about, I mean, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't hold the pot. It would hold the pot up but it would be real easy to knock over, right? Like if I just made yeah. a tube for that thing to stand on? It'd be risky. In my house, somebody would knock it over. What? Yeah, it'd be top heavy. It would be terrible. Okay. So what, am, what should I do to solve that problem? Make it wider. Yeah, make it wider. Am I throwing this right side up or upside down? Upside down, thank you. Okay, so this thing is upside down. And the one thing, so what I did was I measured with my eyes. I could measure with calipers right under here. How wide is that? I know it's about this wide, about there. That's pretty good. And you don't have a bottom. And I have no bottom. That's a very good point. Because if I had a bottom on this, what would that accomplish? Nothing, exactly. It would be just thick, extra thickness on the bottom of this thing. Not needed. Make it heavy. So. When you're making a hole, you all the way down. Exactly that. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to make this wide on purpose so that this guy has some stability. see what this is going to look like. All right. That is a very risky move. Is it? That's a good cereal for you. There's just no chance. Okay. So this is what we're going for. If you seal it tightly enough, you could even seal it back. We're allowed to start out like smaller. What? Yeah, you can start out smaller. Here, put these over here. All right. Now, I actually would like a goblet. Here's what you're going to do next. So that's going to sit up for one class. Uncovered or covered? Covered. And then you're going to trim. Thanks, Queen. Do you need a top? Uh, I think I'm okay. Just turn it off. Seriously. That wheel's causing problems. I don't know. <laughs> that wheel. Causing hijinks. Okay. So I'm trying to center this guy on this. It's too big for this sponge bat, but okay. Shh. Yeah, problem. I don't think it would fit on one of the other ones. I think you need to use a sponge bat. Okay, now this guy. Oh, I forgot to cut it off. Uh, that's a problem. Mm, I could use this bottom. No, that's not gonna work. Um. I need a uh, putty knife from over there. 
I'm just going to putty knife this off. Because I was leaving it as my demo and then it just dried. So you'd so want to cut this one off. You'd want dry. to, yeah, before I do. So, oh, there we go. Say, I'm go mess up. What? What? Is it okay? She has yeah. To trim it. I'm going to trim it a little bit. Is that, and you're going to flip that over. Though. Yes, I'm going to flip it over. Hey, y'all. I'm going to have to do some editing. I'm going to have to learn, uh, what is that? iMovie? Yeah. Really? <laughs> You can edit on okay. your phone. I did edit on. I did edit a little bit on my phone a while ago today. I, I googled how to do some simple editing. Okay, so we're gonna see. You just slip and score it. And would you put a little bit of flare around it? I would put some flare. What? Would you put a little bit of flare around it? Yes. Everyone is predicting accurately, which makes me super proud that you all know this stuff. Okay, here's what I'm doing. Here's how to get this in the center, because sometimes it's actually a little hard to, to, um, to, to center correctly. So I basically smeared this with a little bit of water, and then, uh, and then I stamped it. I stamped it on, on here. And so then I can see where my um, where where this is going to want to stick on there, and then you accurately predicted what's going to happen, which is a little bit of slurry. All right, and a little coil. Hmm? You were in my class? Oh, yeah, but it was a while ago. Yeah. But it's timeless knowledge. You didn't forget. Like riding a bike. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so what I would do is stick a coil on here. But my hands are too wet, I can't roll it. So I'm just going to mash some clay and then trim it off. This is not the cleanest way to do it, but it is a way to do it. Yeah, so that the edges are nice and smooth, and I have something to trim then. Yeah. All right. All right, did I center? Oh, thank you. Have you seen them? Oh, you mean the big yellow one? Oh, yeah. Have you seen the green ones down there, down the hill? Oh, my God, they're amazing. Compost bins rock my world. It's all about a container <laughs> and the goodness that comes from it. Okay, so here's what I'm doing right now is I am centering this over and over again, and then I'm centering this on top. I have an imperfect system, so it's taken me way longer than I want it to. So I'll have to I movie this out. Huh? You think it works okay, Oscar? Thank you. Okay, so here is what I just did. So if I finally to, centered it. What? Could you use the other side instead of using the big side? Mm, you could, but this side is the it nice one that you threw. Yeah. Now check it out. My join area, I am trimming it pretty because it was kind of fail. Sorry. So now I just trimmed the inside. So now it looks pretty also, and it wasn't kind of like lumpy from me cutting it off with the putty knife. All right, now's my chance to sign it. Okay, so I'm gonna write my name right down there, or better yet, up here somewhere. And then, there we go. Okay, so there's that thing that I want you to make. Now, here's another thing you can make. The goblet. 
You want to take over filming, dude? Thank you, though. Okay. Yeah, uh, stop and then restart.